State offense off the field. Third and five, and again, Seibel will motion. Studsrud looking downfield for Brandon Walker, and it's intercepted. The Bengals have an early pick. Eric Collins, the corner, goes up and takes it away. He completed. You know, Keaton's got the receiver open. I don't stay. They're going to play that cover one man, press with the corners, have that safety over the top. Uh, again, that ball needs to be delivered right there. Figures to get respectable field position again. And Cheney toward the near sideline. Seibel fields it, fumbles it, and lost it. And it's picked up and on the run is Nico Hayes, but that ball will be whistled dead. But it is Idaho State football in two early turnovers by UND. The other starters for the North Dakota secondary on third and nine. Sanders deep ball, and that is caught for the touchdown. K.W. Williams brings it in. They're supposed to be. You can see him come in late here. He's got to jump this earlier and be right over top on that. From the 13-yard line, Studsrud looking to the flat, got Seibel, and Seibel leans to the end zone. Touchdown! Look at the amount of time Studsrud has back there to just sit, pick apart the defense. That's a great job by the offensive lineman. Great, great, great throw by Seibel, but well darn it. Look at those offensive linemen holding their blocks. Studsrud has nobody in his face, can just sit back there and pick that apart. A little bit about North Dakota's uh, coverage on Madison Mangum as you saw on the tail end of the replay there Deion Harris was getting some help in terms of covering here's a what could be a botched punt and it's a block punt ball free at the 30 yard line and North Dakota will have great field position 11 have been running plays here's the 12th running play of this first quarter Santiago bounces it outside touchdown necessity North Dakota needed a running back in camp they went to Santiago and the job has been his since then and that, that's all John Santiago right here this is all just him being an athlete him making guys miss and then you can see the speed around the corner that's all effort on him right there four passes on the day has completed three this will be Santiago big hole Santiago cuts it out then fumbles the football and it's recovered by Camino Ward 311 pounds, uh, still playing hard towards the end of this play, and he's going to rip it out right here. Yeah, it comes down. Uh, that's turnover circuit right there. You, you work that in practice, ripping the football out. Uh, definitely North Dakota wants him back next week. Third and one for the Bengals on the UND 34-yard line. Sanders, Magnum, got it, touchdown. Madison Mangum went up and got it, and you throw the ball anywhere within about a township or two of number seven, and he's going to bring it in, and he's got the touchdown. Strong safety who... Had 110 tackles last season. Studgerud flushed out. Can he run away from the defense? Yes, he can. And he can run down the near sideline. And he can run inside the 30. And he can run near the 20-yard line. Studgerud looking to the end zone. Wide open. Caught. Touchdown for Miguel Serratino. And North Dakota reclaims the lead. For a first down deep inside Idaho State territory. Studgerud flushed out, keeps his feet after nearly being tripped up, and then is sacked. John Raheem Peoples puts Studsrud on his back. Well, terrific job getting away from the first one, but. And Studgerud appears to be hurt. Yes. After the eight yard pickup, second and two. This will be Santiago, breaks a tackle, darts down the sideline and into the end zone. North Dakota now opens up its lead to 15. And the speed is what's impressive right here. Ward has the angle on him. Santiago kicks it down. Unbelievable speed. From Sanders again, time to survey his receivers. And he's got his man. And that is Williams again, and he's in for the touchdown. Of the day. Uh, and right away, he saw K.W. Williams on the back. You, know, you got that, again, that matchup that's very favorable to Idaho State. This time, 
moves out of the pocket, fires from Mangum, and he caught it at the 40-yard line and tackled from behind Le, by Labatt, but not peace, but not after Big 51 had made the initial stop. Sanders looking for Mangum. What a catch. Mangum. Idaho State. He did, and he gets inside leverage here, too. He makes that cut, gets Harris to jump on the outside, cuts inside. Sanders delivers that right on the money. And it's a yard away now from closing the gap once again. Trailing by nine, and that deficit is cut by six as Ford is in for the touchdown. Screen pass. North Dakota was blitzing on the play, too. They called the right play at the right time, and Ford is into the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. And this was the exact time to call it. North Dakota bringing a lot of pressure. You get your offensive lineman down the field on the few guys. Four touchdown passing day for Idaho State, which will go for the two-point conversion, knowing even if they don't make it, that it forces North Dakota into a touchdown, but they do get it on the reception to Mangum from just outside their own 45-yard line. The Bengals looking for the first down. No! North Dakota gets the defensive stop. Bartles has three receivers here. Looking deep downfield, wide open is Zach Adler, and Adler will bring it in inside Idaho State Territory. Oh, the North Dakota tight end got behind the entire Bengal defense. Five receivers for North Dakota, although one of them is Santiago, the running back, who's the receiver on the bottom of your screen here on the near, near side of the field. Bartle needs to make a play here for North Dakota to have a chance. It's fourth and six. Bartles going for Santiago, throws into double coverage, and it falls incomplete. In the second half today, as Kelly pointed out earlier, the Idaho State white receivers were better than the North Dakota secondary. Oh, absolutely. And that's why they were able to generate this come-from-behind win today, scoring 22 and a half.